fire on. Yeah, it's freezing out there. I can see that. I can see that. Now, where's Eugene? Oh, that seems to be question of the day. Oh, come on. Don't tell me he's missing. No, I talked to him finally. He's on his way. Good. Uh, what would you guys come up with? Not that I can come up with anything. I've been looking for Gene all day. Well, how about Eugene? Well, I talked to him, and he said uh, that he did come up with something, but I don't know what it is. Maybe he found a pocket. It uh, could be, but I doubt it. We we're trying to figure out some way to get into Tony Damaris to look for the... to look for that. Just a second. Could be him. Who is he? Yeah, it's Gene. Come on. Boy, do I have some news for you guys. What have you got? Did you find Baca? I got a lead. A 100% bona fide lead. You always have to walk this far to a bus stop? Depends on where I work. You cold? Want me to turn up the heat? I'm OK. You mind if I turn up the heat for me? Do what you want. It's your car. All right. I take it you don't mind the cold. I didn't say that. You still, right? In weather like this, you can never get warm. Well, you might if you put on a sweater underneath that jacket. Or if I moved to California, then I wouldn't have to worry about it. That's something I want to talk to you about. There's nothing to talk about. I think there's a lot to talk about. I know I've got a lot to say. <laughs> I'm sure you do. I also want to hear what you've got to say. There's my best stop. No, I've got a whole lot better idea than that. Mm -hmm. What do you think you're doing? He said he was going to post this article. What if he does, Larry? Huh? What if he publishes this article? It could kill my dad. Now, first of all, I want you to slow down and tell me exactly what happened from the beginning. Okay. This guy barged into my apartment and threw this article at me. He said he was going to publish it. Larry, I've got to stop him. May I read it? Okay, it's awful. I don't know how anyone could be so cruel. This is outlandish. It's barbaric. Oh, Larry, it makes you sound like a tramp. How could I ever face me when if this was published? This is not going to be published, Hope. But how? How could I stop him, Larry, unless I give him my entire inheritance? How much did he ask for? He didn't say. Okay, all right, look, uh, we'll find a way to fix this. But how? How, Larry? The only thing I can think of is to pay him. No, 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 there's got to be another way. I'll, uh, I'll find another way to fix this, Hope, I promise. I hope so, Larry. Because I couldn't handle it if that's published. I couldn't, Larry. Well, go on, Tony. You're expected. Who is that? Who's that? So, we meet again. Count Di Mera. Phoenix. I don't understand. You're here. Why? When? A miracle is enough. But why in Mrs. Venable's apartment? Why? <laughs> well, well, well. You are looking at Mrs. Venable. <laughs> I see. I see. Sadile knew. That's why she tried to stop me from leaving the country. She knew you were coming. You're a smart boy. Then why didn't she tell me? <laughs> She told you all you need to know. And why it's so amusing? Why, the situation comical? I am laughing at your stupidity, my friend. Stefano, I don't understand when you speak in riddles. Because you have never learned how to play the game as an expert. You have never learned how to win. Another riddle. You fool. Don't you understand what I'm trying to do? You refuse to learn. You refuse to realize that Stefano Di Mera does not lose. I do not allow myself to fail. No, you don't. But why are you here in Salem? Ah. Why are you watching this? I mean, this man, Roman Brady's dead. Patience. That's today's day. 
Yes, it is. Now, this man's dead. My friend, my empty-headed friend, how does a dead man read the newspaper? What, is this some kind of joke it's or something? It's not a joke. What are you trying to tell me? That oh, yes, he's alive, you fool. Roman Brady is alive. I am telling you, this is fantastic. It's fine. You, will you slow down? You're going a mile a minute. All right. I'm just excited. All right. You found Kelly Chase's sister. That's right, Molly. Where'd you find her? Well, I was at the hospital, and I was going through some of the records. And I, I discovered that she still lives in Salem, so I got her phone number. I mean, this is a great lead. Come on, you were going through her sister's records just yesterday. Yeah, well, did you speak to her? No, no, I want to talk to you guys first. Well, you may not find her too cooperative. At least she wasn't when we questioned her. Well, that's because you were a working cop at the time. That's exactly why she didn't trust me. Think she might know something? It's possible. Like I said, when I questioned her, she was scared, but uh, I got the feeling she was trying to hide something. Come on, she has the information. I don't know, Eugene, her sister just been murdered. I mean, that's enough to frighten anyone. <laughs> You're telling me? But it's still worth checking out, right? Definitely is worth checking out. I mean, she did do a disappearing act right after Kelly's funeral. Maybe this will open up something new. Look, my vibes tell me that this is hot, whatever it is. Well, Eugene, she might open up to you. I mean, you're not a cop. Oh, that's worth a try. Look, I'll tell her I'm grief-stricken. I tell her I'll, I can't live my life without finding out what happened to Trista. Actually, that's not too far from the truth, is it? Gee, you sure you're up to this? <sighs> yes, of course I'm up to it. Well, might be too rough on you, looking for Trista's murder. No, it doesn't matter. What? <laughs> I think it does. Look, I'm not only interested in finding out why Trista died, but I want to find out whether this Baca and the Bradford curse had anything to do with it. I mean, I can't go through life wondering whether I was responsible for her death or not. Gene, you're not responsible for her death. Maybe not. But Trista was found with a raven's feather in her hand and a poison knife in her back. Now, the Bradford crest has a raven and a, and a leaf in it. It might be a poisonous plant. And the Demera crest has a leaf and a sword. That's well, all eerie. Well, I want to find out if there's any connection whatsoever. And how it's connected. And why. And what Kelly Chase knew about this whole mess <clears throat> of anything. Well, we're going to find out right now because I'm going to give Molly a call. Slime. Who is this guy? His name is Chet Lambert. No. Why is he doing this to me, Larry? Money. Greed, pure and simple. It's disgusting. Doesn't he realize he's hurting people? If my dad sees this printed, he could have another heart attack. Damn it. This sort of thing makes my blood curdle. Exploiting young women like you. Yeah. What I'd like to know is where he got his information. How could he find out that Bo and I... that we were together when my dad walked in on us? Well, uh, maybe when your dad was in the hospital, someone found out. You don't think you told the nurses what happened? No, no, uh, more than likely, uh, someone overheard Doug talking to Julie. Uh, Lambert found out about it and figured out a way to make some easy money. By writing an article on me. How could he do that? Well, obviously, this man has no compassion nor ethics. You know what the worst part is? It's not even true. Not most of it, anyway. Larry, he makes it sound as if I'm hopping from bed to bed. Oh, Hope, you and I both know that that is not the case. Yeah. And what about all the people in Salem? Larry, when they read it, they'll believe it. Hope that is not going to happen, because that is not going to get printed. Should I call the police? Oh, no, no, no. If you do that, the press will get a hold of it for sure. No, that can't happen. Larry, I guess I'll have to pay him the money. That's the only way. I'll do it if I have to. Hope that might not work. Larry, what do you mean it might not work? He wants the money, right? It might not be enough, Hope. Look, I, I've, I've dealt with this sort of thing before. Now, unfortunately, black maters are greedy people. They'll take and take until they bled you dry, and then they still want more money. Oh, no. Yes, I'm afraid it's true. So, uh, unfortunately, you see, I have to nip this thing in the bud before it gets out of hand. Larry, what am I going to do? Well, first of all, you're going to calm down. Larry, I've got to stop him. Will you let me finish? Now, you go back in there and do whatever you have to do to get ready for dinner. What about this? Huh? You leave this to me. What are you going to do? Uh, I don't know yet, uh, but somehow, some way, on my honor, I will see that this article is never printed. And that, my love, is a promise. And I'm sure Tony's not out there. Well, I thought I heard his voice. Well, obviously, you're hearing things. Shall we? 
Yeah, where did he go? He didn't tell me. He tells you everything. Almost. But somehow he must have forgotten this time. We're gonna miss our flight. That's too bad. Oh, sometimes you drive me crazy. Well, now, now. You know how the Count feels about us arguing, shall we? Oh, don't talk to me as if I'm a child. Why would I do that? You know, Delia, I don't know why Tony puts up with you. You probably do know where he is, don't you? Yeah, no, I, mean, I don't know where. Sure. This is incredible. I didn't think I could be so easily fooled. It just never occurred to me that Roman Brady's death was staged. Nevertheless, it is true. But how? How did you find out that he didn't die in that explosion? If one is to play the game successfully, one must know his opponent. Now, if I were him, if I were being hunted, running around like a rat in a maze, what would I do? I would have left the country. But he, I don't understand why he didn't flee once he escaped from jail. That's because you do not know Roman Brady. No, 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 no. Roman would not give up that easily. He'll play the game to the end. No matter how deadly it gets. You mean he's the kind of man who wouldn't stage his own death? Ah, you are learning, my friend. So, I thought, if I were Roman, what would I do? <laughs> and then everything fell right into place. Two great game players, two minds, both coming to the same conclusion. Both masterminding their own death. But the only difference is, mine was a success, his was not. So how did you find out? The technicians at Eugene Bradford's house, the ones that are uh, projecting that image of his dead wife on the wall. They saw him? You see, they became aware that there was another person living there, and I became suspicious, so I had them train their cameras on the guest. It was Roman Brady. That's really amazing. Everybody thinks he's dead, even his family. Not everyone. You see, my dear friend, he does have help. Eugene Bradford's got to be him, otherwise he would never risk being there, would he? Yes. And Roman's brother, that uh, the one with the yeah, Bob Brady. strange name, Bo, yes, Bo Brady. How about Marlene, does she know? Probably so, she's been there often enough. You know, we can still get rid of Roman Brady. I can put the Eugene mask and kill him tonight. What? No, no, wait. I can get into that house, wait for uh, Eugene Bradford to leave the house, Roman be alone, I can get in there with a mask, and no one would suspect anything. Have you heard a word I've said? Stefano, do you want Roman Brady dead? On my terms! <sighs> do you hear me? Why are you so afraid to talk to me? Who says I'm afraid? I just want out. It's not gonna kill you to talk. Okay, what do you want from me? I don't want anything from you. I just ask you if you want to have some dinner, and then I'll take you home. I don't need your charity, Kosicek. I don't need anything from you. Look, Tess, maybe you don't need anything, but your brother does, and if you care for him as much as you say you do, you'll give me half an hour of your time. For your information, I love my brother. You got a funny way of showing it. Pete's doing terrific right now. This might be the first chance he's ever had. And you want to pick him up and take him to California? He might do better there. Oh, come on, Tess, you know better than that. Now he's going to fall back in the same group he was with out here. He's got good friends here right now, people that want to help him make something of his life. You really want to take it away from him? I don't. That's not what I want. Then what is it? It's... it's complicated. Well, all right, I'll tell you what. I am real cold and I'm real hungry. What do you say we go and talk over dinner about this? Come on. Please. All right. All right? For Pete. All right. For Pete. You got it. But I don't have much time. Well, that's all right. I don't have much time either. I gotta get back to shenanigans. Well, I have a second job I gotta do, too. Domestic? Yeah. How late do you work? What are the questions? Just trying to be curious, that's all. I just wondered how you did it. I know you were at work real early this morning at the lodge. Well, I'm used to it. Still can't be easy. No, it's not. Look, Tess, there is nothing in the book that says you and I have to hate each other. Look, I don't hate you. You took in my brother. If you don't hate me, how come we're always fighting? Don't ask me. You're the one with all the answers. 
You know, I might be doing this all wrong, but I am trying to call a truce here. I know. That's all you got to say is I know? What am I supposed to say? I don't know. I really don't know, but I guess I know is all that for now. Well, I'm ready for my date with Molly. How do I look? Hope I'll be able to find some sort of information about these murders. Yeah, yeah, Eugene, just make sure you listen to everything she says, no matter how unimportant it may seem. Sometimes some of the best leads are the ones you don't pay any attention to at the time. Come on! I was a detective with you, don't you remember? Trista's mother's murder, how can I forget? All right, I will hang on her every word. Oh, what are you guys going to be doing while I'm gone? Well, in case something unexpected comes up, oh, maybe you should go along. What, Doug's place? Yes, Doug's place. You can hang out at the bar, but just make sure you stay close enough to see if anyone is watching Molly. What's the matter? I can't go to Doug's place. Doug and Julia, they're going to be on my case. Oh, I think you can handle Doug and Julie. I do not want Eugene going there alone. I can handle Molly. It's not Molly I'm worried about. If she really does know something, the killer could be watching her. Oh, I hadn't thought of that far. Bo? Okay, okay, okay. I'll go if you want me to. Unless, Gene, you can uh, call Molly up and arrange someplace else. No, 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 no. When I talked to her on the phone, she was really skittish. I don't want to change plans on her now. Yeah, you don't want to scare her off. Okay, okay. I'll go if you want me to. Thanks. <sighs> but I can't guarantee I won't get thrown out of the place. I want everything you can get on that reporter. Lambert's. L-A-M-B-E-R-T. That's right. I want it immediately. I'm ready, Larry. Hope, you look beautiful. Thank you. Done with your phone calls? Oh, I can see I'm going to have a hard time getting a smile out of you tonight. I'm sorry, Larry. I know. You're upset about this blackmail situation. So am I. Look, we'll go out and have a nice dinner, but we won't pretend with each other, okay? Okay. Okay. All right. You know, I did some checking while you were getting ready. And? Well, this Lambert character, he's, uh, he's got a lot of enemies. Is that good or bad for us? I don't know yet. We'll just have to wait and see what terms he has for the uh, blackmail. Meaning how much money he wants. That, where he wants it delivered, the quantities, that sort of thing. He didn't say anything about that. He said I'd be hearing from him. You will. Larry, maybe we shouldn't go out. Maybe I should wait here for his call. <laughs> He'll find you when he's ready, Hope. You know, I almost wish that he would call so I could get this over with. Well, judging from what I found out about the guy, uh, I don't think I'll have to wait too long. He's very greedy. Larry, how did you find out so much so fast? I've got inside contacts. I'm the DA, remember? How are we going to deal with him? Huh? I don't know. I'm sure he's manageable, though. Uh, well, he's going to be sorry he ever tried this. He sounds so certain. Hope, oh, Lambert may be a weasel, but he's not completely stupid. Bottom line is, he's not going to cross the DA. You really think so? Not many people will hope. You'll call, I'll take care of it, that'll be the end of it. I hope so, Larry, because I'd do anything to have him not print that article. Anything. Now, don't you worry about a thing, Princess. Oh, Larry, what would I do without you? Anything to, I can do to help, you know that. Have I told you the sweetest man I've ever met? Ah, you say that's all the guys. I do not. Sure you do. I read that article. Larry, that's not funny. It will be as soon as this is all over, and you'll never have to worry about that article again. I'd be grateful to you for the rest of my life. Now, I'm going to remember you said that and hold you to it. It's a favor you're going to start by dinner tonight. Okay, let's go. Oh, not so fast, not so fast, not so fast. What are these for? What do you think? Larry, it's not going to do any good to cut this up. I'm sure he mis he's made other copies. One less copy? Three. Go ahead. Why not? It's symbolic. I forget this. It's too long. Here, let me help. There. Feel better? Not as good as I will feel when this is all over with. And it will be, I promise you. You're a girl's best friend, Larry. Want some dinner? Yeah. Let's go. Stefano, I don't know what you want from me. I have laid my life on the ground to kill all these people for you. I followed your orders, and yet you call me stupid? You've done those things very well, quite well, as a matter of fact. So why don't we kill Roman Brady tonight? You know the plan. Yes, I know the plan, but we should quit him tonight. No. The plan is to be followed right down to the last minute detail. Why? Don't you ever question me. I understand. Because I have dreamed many dreams about the end of this game. Here, read this. What's this? 
Read it. Roman Brady murdered his thousands. What? What's this? <laughs> Stefano, is this a joke? That is what the papers will say in the end. But you had this printed up now? Read the first paragraph. Salem. Alleged murderer Roman Brady was shot and killed last night by Count Anthony Demera at a concert held to benefit Salem University Hospital. Brady thought to be dead surfacing during the concert but was gunned down by Demera as thousands watched. What, are we back to stage one, are we? Yes. But you don't seem very pleased. Oh, I just didn't expect this. You see, the game has grown in scope. You have much to do. Oh, well, what more is there to do? More killings? I don't know. But the benefit for the hospital must be grander, larger. I want national attention. Yes, well, it's the talk of Salem. That's not good enough. I want celebrities from films. Television, I want political figures there. I want national coverage. Do you understand? No, oh, yes, well, that you shall have. I want Roman Brady eliminated. With millions watching on their television sets. I want revenge. And you shall have it. Yes, I will. I will indeed. Well, you always were a winner. You almost destroyed me once. Almost, but not this time. No, this time I shall applaud his destruction. The end of a magnificent show. Got him for two? For you two always. What time? What time? That telephone call is for you, my dear. Oh, uh, thank you. Excuse me. Okay, I'll try. Hello? Yes, this is she. I see. Uh, yes, um, I'll be there. With everything. Larry wants five thousand dollars by tomorrow morning. Did he say what he wants to me? He didn't say it. He said I'd be hearing from him. I figures he doesn't want to give you time to plan anything. Larry, maybe I should just pay him the money. No, 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 no. I told you I would take care of him, and I meant it. Now sit down. Come on. Sweetheart, are you still upset with me? Of course I'm not upset. You sure about that? I am hurt. At least I was hurt to think that I spent the whole day in the beauty salon trying to look beautiful for you and you didn't notice. Sweetheart, I always think you are beautiful. You know that. Well, it's nice to be told every once in a while. You are beautiful and I love you and I only have eyes for you. Really? Yeah, of course. You know, for a guy who only has eyes for me, you've been looking at a lot of other chicks lately. I what? Well, there's old Foxy. And all the models from your fashion show? Yeah, I'm just trying to get the fashion show together, that's all. Why are you interested in a fashion show, Doug? Sweetheart, I don't know where all this is coming from, but uh, you know I love you. And you have no idea that you're paying enormous amounts of attention to other women. The only woman in my life is and always will be you. Mm. Ah, customer. that are going on. What do you mean going on? You look like you've seen a ghost. Yeah, well, I just couldn't discuss it. Oh, well, do you think we'd better get going? We're going to miss our plane, no, you know. No, 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 please, forget the plane, forget the trip. What? Why? Well, just some things I, I, I can't talk to you about. It. Something's come up. 
But, Tony, I'm all packed, and we both need yes, a yes, vacation. Well, I'm sorry, I'm afraid that that's... Uh... Well, can you at least tell me why? No. A hint? It's business, I mean. To be honest with you, I just had a business reversal, that's all. I, I can't leave Salem. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I just had my heart set on it. I was looking forward to being under the tropical sun. Now, and... listen, I'm sorry. I know you are. Really, I'll make it up for you. I've just got so many things on my mind right now. Yeah, I can see that. Are you going to be okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course I am. Tony, you know, you look like you've had a terrible shock. I... Yeah, I tell you what. Um, could you get my car keys for me? Sure, why? I need some fresh air. Okay. Food okay? It's fine. You have not eat I'm not that hungry. Kind of surprising after a long, hard day at work. Look, I didn't come here to talk about me. No, you didn't. And I'm still waiting for an answer. Why do you want to take Pete to California? I told you, he needs a fresh start. It'd be good for him. I don't think it's all that bad for him right here. <sighs> Maybe not. Why California? Why so far away? I've always wanted to go there. Any particular reason? Seems like a nice place. Have you ever been there? No, but I've heard about it. Being poor is easier when you're not cold. That's it? You're gonna go to California because it's warm? It's warm, and there's lots of jobs there, and it's big, a lot of people. I could start over there, leave this cold city behind. You can start over, right? Yeah, with Pete. I could, uh, make up for the past with him. You mean when you disappeared to Chicago? I didn't disappear. Then what do you call it? What's it matter? What's done's done. I'm trying to make up for it. Then why don't you leave Pete here, Tess? He's doing fine. There are gangs out in California, same kind of people he was running with here. And Pete's still on shaky ground, as good as he's doing. He's still not comfortable with this lifestyle. And finally, it's a lifestyle on this side of the law. I'll watch out for him. Maybe you would. Maybe you'd try. But you be honest with yourself. You really think you can do that as much as you work? Pete'll be okay. Yeah, Pete'll be okay. How do I know that you're just not going to pick up again? Just split. Take off to Chicago. I'm never going to go back there. Never. Why not? What scares you so much in Chicago? What's that? I have to get back to work. Now, wait a minute. I'll take you home. My bus is right Look, outside. I promise, Scott's on it. Guarantee I will not kidnap you again, okay? All right? Okay. It's cold outside. All right. Let me pay the check. I'll be right with you. Oh, you better not be here to cause trouble. I'm not here to cause trouble, Doug. I'm just here to get a beer. Okay, can't you drink it someplace else? I'm not here to hassle Hope, either. Why are you here? I'm on a case. It's an adultery case. I'm headed here for dinner. That doesn't sound good to me either. Don't worry. I'm just gonna watch. That's all. Okay, do not go one step towards Hope's I table. I won't go one step toward her table. I see she's busy with one of your friends. Well, Larry Welch has been very good to her. It's more than I can say about you. Uh, I wonder what Bo Brady is doing here. I don't know. I'm sure he's not here to see me. Would you like to leave? It's too uncomfortable? No. Larry, I can't run away from him every time I see him. Even if it's this painful to be in the same room, I know it must hurt. Hope I've been there, too. You? Come on, Larry. I can't believe anyone dumped you the way Bo dumped me. Hope, I don't think you could find one person in this room who hasn't gone through the same experience at one time or another. Why does it have to be this way? Why does... Why do things have to be so complicated? Why can't everyone just love each other? It's usually because people never love each other to the same degree. One always loves the other person more. I guess I know which one loved more in my case. Hope, I hope this doesn't make you bitter. It can, you know. I'm sure I can, Larry. But all I know is... I never want to feel this hurt again. And you won't have to if I have anything to do with it. I 
back this way. Enjoy your dinner. Thank you. Thanks, Judy. Oh, uh, Doug. Hi, Anna. Um, Tony. I guess I will great. be able to model for you after all, Doug. Oh, that'll be great, Anna. I'll call you with all the details. Thank you. I feel like a cat catching the trip this way. Well, I suppose we can go some other time. Yes, we will. When I have, well, when life's not so hectic. Maybe next time we can plan a longer trip. Say a month, six months. Perhaps forever. Forever. Hello, are you Molly? Are you Eugene Bradford? Uh, yes. Uh, may I sit down? Uh, please. Thank you. Listen, I know it's kind of strange having to have to track you down like I did. I, I, I'm real pleased that you were able to make this meeting. Well, I couldn't turn you down. You sounded so lost on the phone. Well, I'd like to talk to somebody who can understand. Yeah, since you called, I've been looking forward to seeing you, too, for the same reason. Oh. Well, now that I'm here, I really don't know what to say. Well, I guess we've probably both said it all. Been through it all. It's hard enough to lose somebody you love. But to lose them to a murderer, it's so senseless, so cruel. I know, it just makes me angry. I don't know why anybody would have killed Trista. My sister. She was a wonderful girl. Oh, I know, I worked with her at the hospital. She was terrific. You worked with her? Yeah. I don't know why anyone would have killed her, either. Well, I think I might know why. Oh? Why? I... I don't believe it, please. I mean, I don't think Robert, Roman Brady killed her just for the sake of killing her. I think they're covering something. Covering what? I, I don't know. But I know my sister was onto something when they killed her. Well, like what? I have proof. I brought it to show you. I thought maybe you might know something that would help me piece it together. That's your proof? My sister became a hooker after she quit the hospital. And nobody in my family understood why she quit the hospital to become a prostitute. Well, she told me it's because she needed some money. Well, that's interesting. Because look at this. She hardly needed the money. This is Kelly's? Her savings account. $50,000? And that's not all. Everything is quite delicious, Lydia. Good. Would you like me to leave you alone while you eat? No, 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 no. Please, sit. Very well. I enjoy your company, Delia. After all, you're the only one that remained truly faithful to me. Thank you. No, Delia, I think I should be thanking you. After all, if it weren't for you, it's very possible I could be spending my time in prison at this moment. I could never let that happen. Just as I would never let anything happen to you, Delia. After all, you are like family to me. When this is over, I will try to make you as comfortable as possible. Will it be over soon? Yes. Now that I am back here in Salem, and my plan is set, I think things will move rather fast. I'm glad to hear it. And Roman Brady will be history. Yes. Very well put. Poor man. Poor stupid man. He still does not realize who the real enemy is. <laughs> oh, just think how romantic this would be if we were in Rio. You're not going to forgive me for that, are you? Well, I did have my heart set on it, Tony. But she did say we could go away forever one day. No, I said that. Mm -hmm. Well, we don't have to stay in one place. Look, we could take your jet. We could go shopping in France, and I could buy new furs in Italy. <laughs> That's it. I mean, you spend your whole day shopping. <gasps> oh, I know. The nights would be full and wonderful. Well, then I'm tempted. I know. <laughs> yes. But do I have to wait for real? Well, I suppose we could have one or two wonderful nights here in Salem. <laughs> <laughs> How about every night, huh? 
How about if I move into your bedroom? I think you must. I will. Bo. Julie. Dave just took this telephone message. Your mother called you. Thank you. What are you doing here? I told Doug I'm not here to following Hope. I'm very grateful you haven't made a scene so far. You're welcome. What are you doing here? I'm on a case. And believe me, I don't want to make it harder for Hope than it already is. I'm sure Hope will survive, the little darling. I would like to say at this time, I'm delighted that you and she are kaput. If there's anything I can do for you, please tell me. I'll call. Yeah, and if you think of anything about Kelly's murder, you must tell me, all right? I'll tell you. I know you want to know why just as badly as I do. Thank you. Thank you. See you soon. You too. Bye-bye. James, what did Molly tell you? Oh, it keeps on happening to me. What keeps happening? What are you talking about? Every time I look at Tony, I keep on getting a vision of, of computers. Computers? Yeah, and it's a strong vision, too. Gene, tell you what, we'll figure this thing out later. What did Molly tell you? <clears throat> it turns out that when Kelly died, she wasn't poor. Come on, she was on the street. She was a hooker. No, she had $50,000 in the bank. What? Yeah, she was rich. That doesn't make any sense. She quit her job as a nurse and she hit the streets. Well, I know, but that's what we have to figure out. I also forgot to figure out how she got that $50,000. I know, that's what Molly wants to find out, too. Hey, we're on to something, Jean. We're on to something hot. Come on, let's get out of here. He said he wasn't ready to call for tomorrow. Maybe it's not him. Then on the other hand, I'd better ransom just in case. Hello. Don't hang up. No, I know who you are. Oh, never mind who this is. No, she is not coming to the phone. I'm taking care of this. Well, then you can just meet me instead. Look, you had better not cross me. I know who you are, and I know how to get a hold of you. Now, I'm going to play your game only so far. Now you're talking. All right, I'll meet you with the money. No, there will not be any more installments. Five fellows all you're getting, buddy. Well, what did he say? Uh, I'm meeting him tomorrow. You're meeting him? Well, I'm not going to let you go. Larry, you just got through telling me that I shouldn't give him the money. Well, uh, I told him uh, I'd meet him in the morning. What are you going to do? You just told him you'd pay him the money, Larry. I lied. I told you, being DA has its privileges. Do you really think you should be doing this? Well, if I don't, who else is going to? Maybe I should take care of it. Larry, I don't think the DA should be involved in blackmail. Hope it is not a crime to be a victim. I just feel terrible that I dragged you into this. I dragged myself in. You wouldn't have known about it if I didn't tell you, Larry. But you did. And it's too late to tell me not to get involved. I already am. Look, I can't remember all of it. I just didn't get the look at the book for that long. Oh, wait, Eugene, are you sure you saw a deposit entry for $50,000? Yes, yes, Molly showed it to me. Sounds like some kind of payoff to me. Oh, what else could it be? I mean, she socks away 50 grand and then she turns around and pretends like she's poor. Yeah, but who's paying her off, Roman? The 50,000 was not the only entry. It's just I didn't get to look at all the others. Did you happen to catch the entry date? Um, March 8th last year are you sure yeah for some reason it's stuck in my mind well does that date mean anything to you i don't know but for some reason it just kind of stuck in my mind roman should never have had such a grand production that was his mistake i beg your pardon oh i was just thinking about how roman staged his death it should have been more quiet discreet as we did you well, it did not arouse suspicion, now did it? I had a stroke, which is not uncommon, and I died, but Roman? <laughs> he blew himself up in a house. He was begging for attention. 
He wanted that attention to be sure that you believed he was dead. True, but you see, the moment that I heard about that explosion, I became very suspicious. Delia, tell me, has anyone ever speculated about my death? I don't think anyone ever questioned it. It was a well-executed plan, wasn't it? Still, it was a very painful few days while we were waiting for those drugs we used to wear off. Yes. Drugs that could have been fatal. You know? I thought it was kept from you. Oh, yes, I knew. But it was a risk I had to take. It's just a pity that so many people had to suffer in the process of my dying. You're alive, and that's all that matters. <laughs> At one point, Delia, darling, I was not so sure that I would live. Those drugs affected me in a way that I, I never experienced. I remember when the first one took effect. He's dead. Was it the stroke that killed him, Doctor? Yes. Inform the morgue we've got a body for pickup. I'll be in my office to sign the death certificate. Yes, Doctor. Thank you, Miss Chase. Hi, it's done. The other doctor's gonna sign the death certificate. Now just get up here fast. We don't have much time to switch the body. Uh, I gotta go. Kelly, Keith, what are you doing here? I work here, Tristan. What do you think I'm doing here? I know that, but I thought this was my shift. Well, I guess you're wrong. Look, uh, unless I'm crazy, why don't you just go and check it out for us, okay? Okay. I'll be right back. All right. Well, don't hurry, Trista. <sighs> don't hurry.